I, I just really enjoyed it when I read it. I think a, I think Thompson's a great storyteller. I think uh, the story's very powerful. I think a lot of noir books are a bit throwaway, so when you finish them, you've enjoyed reading them, but then they're sort of gone when you finish them. Yeah. And with Killer Inside Me, it kind of stayed, and it kind of seems to be like there's a lot of tenderness in it as well, that weirdly, although it's a book about a kind of violent man and who destroys all the people around him and all the people are close to him, it kind of made you aware of like, the loss of that, the waste of that, and that, that, that was kind of the subject of the book in a way. Travel. Baby, you aren't going anywhere. Casey was the only person I met for the part, and I kind of thought he'd be great for it before I met him. And then when I met him, I knew I wanted him to do it. Unfortunately, he said yes. Because to be honest, like Casey, I don't think Casey had done a film for like two years before, but he hadn't done a film two years before. And he has, hasn't done a film since, so he's very, it's very rare that he says yes. You know, Lou Ford deliberately creates a kind of veneer of slow, stupid kind of deputy sheriff, and inside is like doing mass calculus and reading, reading uh, Schopenhauer or whatever. And, and so, so that that kind of, that and Casey has that. You know, in, in a way, it, it's obviously a, a performance as well. But Casey has that as a person too. You know, when, even meeting him the first time, you know, he's able to make you feel there's a lot going on inside his head. Casey had quite clear ideas. We, we quite often, if there was a, you know, if we weren't sure about something, if we had a disagreement about something, we'd be going back to the book and like, we'd each be quoting our bit of the, bit the spot in our argument. I wanted it to be as much of a love story as it could be, you know, because Joyce and Amy both like love him in a totally unconditional way. They both, you know, Amy's letter, I think, is really touching. Like she has this letter that is basically saying, I know what you've been doing, but I love, I love you anyway. I'll wait for you for as long as you need to be. So that idea that, you know, whether that's psychologically believable or not, but that idea that, that, that the way they represent themselves to, to Lou, for Lou, is that these are women who, who, who love him in a total way. And, and, that, and that's what's so horrible about, about the story, that he destroys them anyway. He destroys them not despite the fact they love him, but because they love him. He doesn't want people to love him. He doesn't feel he deserves love. He doesn't want to be happy. In the end, you know, he wants to just to be caught. He wants to go up in flames. He wants to be to destroy himself, but he destroys all these other people and all the possibilities of love and tenderness that go along with them.